Hi, uh, welcome to my uh, YouTube channel and uh, today I wanted to show you guys about 3D printing functional. I've uh, started in my blog about uh, 3D printing functional things around the house, devices that you need, so on and so forth. But before I go to that, I wanted to introduce uh, my D3000. This was a very low cost uh, camera that I picked up about six months back for a very very reasonable cost I mean the cost of the actual lens I picked up the body and the camera with the lens and a carry case but uh, the lens that it comes with this is like one of those uh, package lenses it's an 18 to 55 it's a good shooting lens if you just want to walk around town but f3.5 is not exactly a great aperture so with that said, I wanted to get a nice lens for this, and I've been looking around for something that has a low aperture. This is a f1.8 uh, lens that I recently bought from eBay. This is from uh, this is a Nikon E series uh, lens. Gives some very nice pictures, but it's completely mechanical, completely manual. The quality of it is impeccable. I mean, much higher than what you get today. Uh, it's all aluminum construction, you name it, it's there. Uh, so when I purchased the lens, it came with a little cap for the front and a cap for the back, which I've used on this lens now. And uh, that was it. But I wanted a body cap. So I went to Thingiverse and uh, downloaded this uh, body cap, which is actually a very nice little body cap that I did a little bit of post-processing to. Uh, Simply put, I just sanded it a little bit, a little bit of uh, acetone to smooth it out, and uh, it actually fits in there quite nicely. It's a good body cap. I could have bought it, but at the end of the day, I have a 3D printer. It took less time to 3D print my own than it did to order one and wait for it. And uh, the cost, to be honest with you, eh, probably cheaper this way too. Uh, not that I saved much. I mean, these body caps are only like a few bucks. But one of the other things that I wanted to 3D print was a place to store the little lens cap. I don't want to lose this when I'm out shooting. And uh, the again, went to Thingiverse, looked up uh, some Nikon accessories. And this uh, holder over here that actually ends up just clipping on to the strap holds the 52 millimeter lens cap as well as a 77 millimeter lens cap. There's a little bit of a lip on there and everything else, but it actually works quite nicely. It's not going to fall off. It's not going to do anything ridiculous. And again, I'm a kind of a bang for the buck kind of guy. I don't necessarily want to go with the highest cost things. I like nice things like everybody else, but I don't want to pay such high prices. So use camera, use lens, and some 3D printed accessories. I have a small respectable kit that I can learn on. I'm no professional. I'm just learning about uh, shooting with a DSLR and I feel the mechanical aspect of this will allow me to learn a lot more about how uh, how to shoot proper photography than with uh, you know an automated VR lens like this one. Image, stabiliz image stabiliz stabilization, autofocus and all that this one you only use it in manual mode and um, if you have a 3D printer you can 3D print some nice little accessories for it a lot of these accessories can be 3D printed you don't necessarily need to order them and uh, again it doesn't cost much this is only a few grams of plastic and you know, a couple hours worth of uh, printing time so you just watch your TV show while the printer's wailing away at printing these and uh, I tried to get a little bit of a higher quality, so I was printing at around 50 mm a second. Uh, my printer can do about 150 at top speed right now, so that's not bad. But in either case, I just wanted to show you guys that you know I have many hobbies. I'm a technologist. I really love all technology, and one of the things that I really like is photography. I just I never I never had much practice at it, you know. 
uh, I have owned that regular SLR when I was in my teenage years and uh, you know I've never had a DSLR I always had point and shoots I'm actually filming with one of my point and shoots I have a, a Canon Elf series point and shoot which does 1080p which is what you're looking at in this video I have a Nikon uh, point and shoot which is kind of like one of those oversized point and shoots that uh, shoot 720p which is quite a bit older uh, so I figured I'd go into photography a little bit more and I actually like this this is a, doesn't do video it doesn't do a whole of a lot but you know it's it's a good starter kit for me uh, for somebody that's a novice there's a lot of bang for the buck out there keep an eye on eBay Craigslist things like that you can always find a good older camera and this only had about 3,000 uh, pictures taken with it I actually did a number count on the camera which is basically you take the image you input it into a website and it shows you how many shots have been fired these things are rated for over a hundred thousand shots so I, I literally doubled that within a month so I mean learning experience things like that but going back to 3d printing stuff I actually rather like uh, 3d printing my own accessories it's kind of a little bit of a novelty for me and at the end of the day you know it's I want my accessory now it's faster than me going to the store to buy one than it is to 3 download and 3d print one so there's there's definitely an uh, applicable use of that technology out there and you're not really hurting anyone you're doing what you're doing for your own purposes uh, I'll post uh, links to the these two items below the video so you can go and download your own and happy 3d printing and uh, take some nice pictures and uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, we'll I'll see you out there I'll continue making more and more videos thank you bye bye